Brand is here. I'm not just any brand. I'm my own brand. We are uh, patiently awaiting Ray J's arrival as well. Yes, we got texts from him, so today, we know he's coming. Today's the day for Tronics, his network, Ooh. to launch. Um, today's also the day that Donald Trump is in town. I'm, I'm following everything that's happening. His hearing starts right now. Mm. Um, so his motorcade has arrived at the court okay. ahead of his pre-trial hearing. This is for his hush money criminal case. Hush money. Today is also the deadline for him to secure that bond in his $464 million civil fraud decision against him. Sheesh, it's so active they, for him today. They have until today, and if he can't find the money, they can start seizing some of his assets mm. to finance his obligation. So, a lot going on with Donald Trump. Yes. Plus, I believe he's running for president. <laughs> I believe. I believe. Um, so, yes. Also, I see there's going to be, like, snowstorms in certain areas. Ooh. But, uh, I, I know it's snow in Detroit the other day. Yeah, it's, they're saying it's going to be kind of bad. It's what month is it? March, almost I April. I love the snow. All right. Well, Jermaine Dupri is going to be joining us today talking about Freak Nick, that mm-hmm. documentary that is it's on Hulu. Mm-hmm. But he also has Magic City. OK. Oh, with Gigi. Yeah. Coming out. Mm-hmm. And so I know they're going to announce where that's going to land soon. But in the meantime, let's shine a light. 800-292-5150 is a number. Call us up. Let us know who you want to spread some love to, who you want to highlight on this Monday. Let's shine a light. All right. Maybe shine a light on your rude boy. Turn your lights on, y'all. Turn your lights on. Spreading love to those who are doing greatness. Shine a light on them. Shine a light on them. It's time to shine a light on them. All right, it's way up with Angela Yee. I'm here. Jasmine Brand is here. I'm not just any brand. I'm my own brand. And let's shine a light on Vic Mensa. Okay. Now, the reason we're doing that, and Jasmine, you talked about this too. Yes. Is because he actually wrote a book. Uh, he wrote a check for the, a bookstore at a book joint in Chicago to be able to stay open. This is in Boxville. And so uh, he gave them a check for $7,200 through his cannabis line, 93 Boys. And that's going to pay the rent through April 2025. Nice. Yeah. Yes, and this bookstore, it's a black-owned bookstore that specializes in black authors. Okay. And they also were on the Today Show, so that helped as well to keep this bookstore open. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. I need to start buying my books from bookstores as opposed to going online to... Yeah, Amazon. <laughs> exactly. It's a mother and daughter owned bookstore. Oh, nice. So shout out to them. Okay. And shout out to Vic Mensa as well. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, who do you guys want to shine a light on? 800-292-5150. Antonio, who do you want to shine a light on? On my wife, Jasmine. Our four-year anniversary was yesterday. So you guys have been together how long, you said? Tw- we married four years. Four years. Okay, four years together. That's a nice. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah, definitely. What are you going to do for your anniversary? Well, she took me on a helicopter ride yesterday. We went out to eat. What's your favorite type of food? Steak. <laughs> you said that with no hesitation. All right. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you for calling and shout out to her. Shout out to Jasmine. We love you. Thank you. Thank you, too. All right. Well, that was Shine a Light, 800 292 5150, in case you couldn't get through. And when we come back, Yee Tea Time and Candace has decided to exit Real Housewives of Potomac. We'll tell you some more things that are happening on that franchise. It's way up. Yee Tea is next. They say it's truth in the room. Ah! From industry shade to all the gossip. Angela's spilling that yee tea. It's way up. I'm Angela Yee and Jasmine Brand is here. I'm not just any brand. I'm my own brand. Girl, let's do this yee tea. Okay. It's piping hot today. <laughs> all right. Real Housewives of Potomac. Candace Dillard. After six seasons, she is out. Mm. All right. She said, this is not a farewell, but a see you later. She said, as I embark on a new chapter after six remarkable years with the Real Housewives of Potomac, I'm filled with gratitude for the enriching friendships, personal growth, and moments of introspection that have defined this journey with a whirlwind of new opportunities and responsibilities on my plate, I have decided to take a break from Real Housewives. Oh. Yes, it was a tough year. I wish she would have broke the news on your show when she co-hosted with you all last week. Well, it feels like a lot of news just broke over the weekend because Robin Dixon is also allegedly not returning mm-hmm. after um, season eight. And this is a Jasmine Brand exclusive. Yes. Give us the deets. Well, the details are the production. They are shaking up things with the cast. I heard that they're um, 
taking away three people from mm-hmm. the show. Um, and so allegedly Robin Dixon is being put on, you know, uh, hiatus. She'll probably return for future seasons and Candace. And then there's another person that they're going to um, probably uh, not have return for Who the season. Who do you think season. that third person's going to be? I don't know. If you had to guess. Well, you guys let us know who you think. But I tell you who it won't be. Mia Thornton. Okay? <laughs> because she revealed some things Woo! on Real Housewives of Potomac. And during a trailer for the season eight of the reunion, Andy Cohen uh, is saying that, you know, alleging maybe she is, their son is not her husband Gordon's biological son but here is what Gordon had to say about the two of them having an open relationship I had a prostate cancer my things organs weren't working like they used to on my 70th birthday I said you know if you find someone that you think you want to start spending time with I want you to know I'm okay with that but I have two rules one be the street two don't get the kids involved and in this case you did both if you gave me your blessing then why are you so upset? Because you were throwing it in my face and you took the kids around him. Ooh, that'll do it. Because <laughs> yeah. they had rules. And when Candace was up here, she was talking about that too. That okay. they had rules. And she also told us mm-hmm. that Gordon tried to call and give them some tea. I saw that. I saw that you guys posted that. Mm-hmm. And that was, I guess that was a tea that he was trying to tell the cast about well, Mia. Here is what else. And Mia has been red carpeting it up with her, <laughs> with her, new, boo. her new man. Ink. But, but it doesn't seem like that's her new man incognito. It seems like they've been together for a minute now. Yeah. Um, and here is what was said about perhaps their son is not his. Why did you think that Jeremiah was his kid? Years ago, I told him. I said, hey, I'm pregnant. I also want you to know that the timeline that this baby might not be yours. And he said that he loves me and he's going to raise this child as if it was his. And no paternity test was ever requested? Not that I know of. Woo! Wow. Mia's a legend. <laughs> the fact that he told her that she could see other people. Mm-hmm. Just be discreet. And that she was not. At all. At he, all. He, she he looks- broke all the... But that's a... And I got to revisit this clip. We can't... Because that is a lot to put on someone. Go ahead. It go is. sleep with other people. Yeah. Do your thing. But don't have any feelings. Don't. Is that possible? Probably not. <laughs> because you also aren't, aren't going to go sleep with a whole bunch of different people. So you might have one person yeah. that's like your go-to. And, and also this guy was somebody that she dated back in the day. So she really is going to have feelings for this guy. Oof. Well, you know, she's been married for 11 years or 12 years. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, 11 years. And then they split up and they have two kids, um, a son mm-hmm. and a daughter. And they both have one child from previous relationships. But I don't know. Gordon looks good for 70. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here, but he's like, look, my stuff's not working. And that has to also be hard for you Aww. mentally. And can you imagine saying that on national television? Mm-hmm. My stuff's not working? Well, she'll be on the next season for sure. Uh, oh, like. yeah. I she, can't she, imagine. Said, she saved the um, season. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that is your UT. And when we come back, we have About Last Night. That's where we discuss what we did last night. I know it was the weekend. Uh, you always send me videos of you and your daughter. <laughs> I do. And you know, it's super cute. But we'll talk <laughs> about it. It's way up. So, about last night. Last night. Last night. Here's how it went down. It's way up. I'm Angela Yee. Jasmine Brand is here. I'm here, Angela. And it's time for about last night. I haven't seen you in a minute. So, what I was know. happening with you last night? Uh, last night uh, and the whole weekend, I was just being a mom. Mm-hmm. You know, so, you know, just chilling, living the dream, Fun being times. a mom. Yeah, <laughs> having a few cocktails in between, um, chasing my toddler. <laughs> That's it. All right. Well, this weekend, I actually went to the ribbon cutting and grand opening for a Slutty Vegan. Wow. So, shout out to yes, our girl Pinky Cole. She opened her 14th location. Wow. 14th. This location is in Manhattan. It's on Bleecker Street. It's in Soho. Okay. And she's actually going to be on the show for Wealth Wednesday. So Perfect. She stopped through here on Friday. And she talked about some things that she's never talked about before when it Ooh. comes to her restaurant and one location that didn't work out. It's a really interesting conversation that she has. And, you know, sometimes... In business, people always tell you, like, you have to give it time. You have to let things Mm. work out. But how do you know when it's time to be like this? Pull the plug. It's not working. Pull the plug. Yeah. Because then you start thinking in your head, like, all right, it could just be one more thing that could help save this. And sometimes you have to realize. When it's time to go, it's time to go. pouring money into something and it's not sustainable. Yeah. And I don't see a way out. And so we'll be able to discuss um, all of those things. But congratulations to Pinky. It was pouring raining. 
by the way. Like, it was like oh. a monsoon here. And so I got there early. Uh huh. Um, it wasn't even open yet. I got there so early. And then I ended up going to a brunch spot um, in the city. I never do things like that. Right, right, right. So, yeah, in the city. You know, I've never had Slutty Vegan before. You haven't? Never, ever. All right, have well, while I. you're here okay. this week, um, there's one in Brooklyn, there's one in Harlem, and now there's one in Soho. Okay. So definitely make sure you have some Slutty Vegan. You know, I took mine with me. And what's great about it is you go in there and they yell things at you. Oh, okay. You know, so you get things. slutified Ooh. in the store. Okay. All right, well, when we come back, we have Tell Us a Secret, 800 292. To 5150 is a number. Anything that you want to tell us, you know, we keep it confidential. Mm. So we don't need to know your name. You are anonymous. Okay. And you also, um, you know, can tell us anything and we won't judge you. At all. That's the whole point of it. 800 292 5150 is a number. Call us up and tell us a secret. It's way up. Way up. Shh. This is a judgment free zone. Tell us a secret. What's up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. Jasmine Brand is here. Yep. I'm I know here. you missed this. Tell us a secret. Oh, yeah, that's one of my favorites. All right. Well, we have some uh, anonymous callers mm. calling in 800 292 5150. Hey, anonymous caller, tell us a secret. I wanted to bring to your attention. I caught my wife cheating last weekend. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. That's oh, crazy. Man. Six years married, eight years together. How'd you catch her? On Friday, her car broke down, so she sent me her location. And never cut it off. Today she actually ended up in the city, and I followed the ping, and Ooh. she ended up in a hotel. <gasps> wow! Oh, no. Ooh, so she... did you go? Did you go to the hotel? So, no, I actually didn't because I was in the house with my kids, and the Couldn't kids don't have nothing to do with it. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Because I knew once I brought it to attention, it was going to be passed, thrown in my face. Okay. So you cheated in the past. So, yeah, basically, I okay. did. I did. Okay. I did my dirt, and I admit it. I admit it to after the fact that I got caught or whatever. Okay, you know, a real man admits to his wrongs and okay. makes them right. Okay, are y'all gonna stay so, together? So, yeah. Now what? Um. Yeah, we invest, uh, we got a lot of invested. You know, I got a six month old, five year old. Wow. Um, Shoot. Okay. And a sixteen year old out of the marriage, and she has her fifteen year old. So things are gonna work out for the better. What are you gonna do to be able to move forward? What has to happen? A uh, clean slate, basically, on both sides, you know, the respect, the loyalty, everything that that marriage certificate says on it. We both basically in it, ain't abide by it. You're not going to you're not going to cheat again either, though, right? No. Both no, of you. Definitely. Are you going to yeah. are you guys going to share your locations with each other moving forward? I mean, it can happen if it's, if it's act. Definitely. Right. Because both of you now can share. Yeah. Both of your locations as part of a, a way to feel more comfortable, comfortable. Yeah. Trust, trusting. Yeah, comfortable. You know, the trust, the trust has to be built back again. I'm hoping yeah. you guys both on both of your ends are able to work through this. You know, maybe y'all got to go see family therapy, couples therapy, something so that you could figure out some other things that maybe are conversations that might be difficult to have that y'all need to have with each other. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. But thank you for sharing with us. Good luck. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for listening. I appreciate y'all, and I listen to y'all every day. Okay, we appreciate you for sharing with us. And um, that was Tell Us a Secret. When we come back, we have your Yeetie. And guess what? Ray J is in the building. <laughs> okay. It's a big day for him. Okay. Tronix is launching today, so you know Ray J and Yeetie go hand in hand. It's way up. Yo, she about to blow the lid up off this pot. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. Angela's spilling that Yeetie. Come and get the tea. All right, get the Little tea. Box. It's oh. way up. Hey. Hey. Ray J's in the building. How, how are you? Jasmine Brand is <laughs> here. <laughs> are we are we live? Are we yeah, live? Yeah, I was talking about um well, uh, tater tots. You ready for some yee tea? <laughs> well, first of all, let's talk about Tronics. It's a big day. Yes, mm. Tronics Network. Network. T R O N I X Network. Um everybody bear with me. This is a new this is a new channel. It's a new OTT. Mm -hmm. It's a new app. Um the IP is up now. What's the OTT? Um, over the top. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I but, thought it was a real term. Okay, go ahead. No, OTT. Okay, over it's the top. over the top platform. It's, right. like, it's a streaming platform. Gotcha. Um, just like you know, uh, Paramount Plus or BT Plus. Okay, or I'm with Zeus you. Or... Now I saw you um cleared off your whole Instagram page, mm. and the posts are basically uh you know all about Tronics. All about Tronics and family. And like, family. I, I mix in my family. I've been with my son for two weeks. Now my daughter came out. Um, Great to, care. Yeah, right, Ray Care Foundation. That's Daddy a C three. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's a C three. You know saw, why? Because Ray cares. I saw on it's on site. They were saying that uh, perhaps Princess had an issue with not seeing her son 
but she's out here too with the kids. Yeah, well. I mean, we, yeah. we 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 both miss our kids. Like that's 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 her, her that's baby. Her baby. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So you better not be keeping Prince's love from her no, baby as boy. Soon, as soon as as soon as Epic said, "Mama," I called her and showed her. She said, "I'm on my way." I'm on, I'm on my way. <laughs> I'm right. on the plane. But he was having fun at first, but then he said, "I'm on my way." Then he my mommy. He said, "This is where this is where it, where <laughs> this is where it ends." Yeah. <laughs> all right, and also with the new uh, network, what do you? How do you feel about people saying, "Oh, this is all this fighting, and this is negative"? They they dragging you in the comments, Ray J. You know what? To be dragged in comments mm -hmm. is to be misunderstood. <laughs> okay, what does that you mean? Know? And that just means that you you don't have the full picture yet right okay. so you're you're creating something that is affecting you of what you see now but if you you know watch the different um sizzles you can see the balance and you mm -hmm. can see there's real love a real pain real emotion like our story arcs don't just lead to the fight and that's okay. it like there's there's destinations that we take you we we created what you see now so it's like i don't I've, we've always got that kind of energy but our production has a story arc that leads you somewhere. Now, one thing I will say that Ray J told us at the screening okay. is that the relationship with the um, with the cast members don't stop when the cameras stop rolling. Yeah, that's it's what I'm saying. Like it's not about a it's not about a buck. And everybody mm. that we're partnering with with Tronics, we're all gonna eat together. Like okay. there's there's never gonna be a time where everybody I'm, eats. B. Everybody eats, <laughs> right? And everybody and everybody can can tell me what they don't like about what they see, okay. and I just take it right out. Okay. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? I just take it right out because it's not about making somebody look bad. It's about you telling your story, and that might be some bad stuff that happened through the process. Okay. All right. Well, you let's get saying? into some more. Right. I got the craziest content in the world, though. Uh -huh. Ray J's so they here. can say what they say. I got the I got the craziest content. He's here all morning, so we're going to be yeah. talking about Tronics, you know, all morning and <laughs> afternoon. All right. <laughs> but now let's also talk about allegedly um, Spice accidentally revealed that Jada Kingdom is allegedly pregnant. We don't know that this is true, but here's what happened. You're pregnant. I your belly. 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 I your so she basically was like, you're pregnant. And then she realized you covered her, her mouth. Right. You never told them. You never talked Part, about it. Party's yeah. girlfriend. No, no, I'm just saying. Oh, yeah, oh Angela's hearing, an interpreter. Angela's, I was hearing it. I'm like, wait, what Angela, happened? interpret for us. Play it one more time so, yeah, Ray, Jay, call so Ray J can hear. <laughs> Angela, tell us. What, what basically, she was like, oh, you're pregnant. You got a baby. And then she was like, oh. Then she realized you never told anybody. You never told yet. That's, that's, yeah. And you never wow. talk yet. So <laughs> many subtitles. Like the, way you, <laughs> the way you just explained it. It didn't, it, it, it didn't sound like that. But. Yeah, because they were on live. Nah, no, yeah. but that type I, of. I love, I love that. I love that accent, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, Yeah, you're just, friends with Safari, so. No, I'm saying. I mean, I don't love his accent. He's my friend. <laughs> oh. But I like I like the women. The women. I like when Drake yeah. Drake has that does that accent, too. It was so funny to me. Uh, I else, can understand who him, Who else though. got a sexy accent like that? Um, who else? Who? <laughs> mm. mm. oh, oh, oh. Shensia? She Ooh, she's, she's cool. pretty, too. She's, she's so is Jada Kingdom. Mm -hmm. Jada, am I saying her name right? Yeah, Jada Kingdom. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, that is... Alleg uh, what? Right, nothing. Allegedly. Allegedly what? Nothing. No, what were you going to say? Allegedly. Allegedly somebody's pretty? No. Alleg allegedly, I was tweaking. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, what but when happening? we come back, we have Under the Radar. These are the stories that are flying under the radar. And one of them has to do with, would you have a problem, and this is for you guys are both parents, mm -hmm. if your kid's teacher was a rapper mm. outside of school, mm -hmm. would that be an issue for you? We'll talk about it because this woman lost her job Oof. because she's also a rapper. As a, you know, as a little okay. side thing. Well, you know, with depending well, hold on, on, wait, hold on we'll for talk your, about yeah, it. wait, wait, wait. Under the Radar, when we come back, it's way up. News. This is the news that relates to you. These stories are flying under the radar. All right, it's way up. It's under the radar. Uh, and Ray yep. from Radar is here. Woo. That's what's up, y'all. I'm, I'm really happy to be here this week. I really came back to um, to say thank you. And <laughs> this voice change up is Jasmine hilarious. Is like, <laughs> I'm just, I'm on. Um, well, I'm congratulations. <laughs> but let's get into some under the radar stories. Let's do that. Okay. Let's do that. All right. A teacher was fired in the Detroit area. It was at Taylor Preparatory High School. And that is because outside of school, she's a rapper. 
And mm. some of the parents, I guess, had some issues with that. She also was voted Teacher of the Month in oh. December. Okay. But one parent complained that she was a bad influence on her students. And here is what Dominique Brown, a.k.a. Drippin' Honey, had to say. Drippin' Honey. Mm-hmm. Nobody even knew I was a rapper until the parent kept continuously complaining. The first meeting that I had was like the principal and the dean. They had told me that the parent wished to stay anonymous and she felt as if she didn't like my rap career and that I was a bad influence on the kids because I rap. Mm. That's crazy. And this is something she does outside of school. Right. Um, she says she's been teaching for seven years and she even has signatures from students. They started a petition mm. because she's such a great teacher. They didn't want her to, to, you know, not work at the school anymore, but they gave her an ultimatum. Okay. They said you have to either delete all of your content oh. and all of your raps and all of that uh-huh. or, you know, you're going to lose your job. Well, what was the raps su- subject matter? Like, well, what you was know she what? rapping about? We mm. have a little clip for you. Okay. And this okay. song, she, yeah. she actually did this song with some of her students okay, on the last day. Yeah, that'll tell me if it's okay or not. <laughs> I like, like it. it. No, I'm I'm the most uncut person in the world. Did you say fire? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've just heard what I heard. You know what I'm saying? They would fire me right when I said the N word. Yeah. Right? Okay. I mean, you know, I'm fired at school if I'm like the N word. Okay. But I I like it. Yeah. If she get fired, she can come work for me because it, it, it like it's come all right on good. China. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, like you fired from there, but you hired here. Dripping honey, you got you you hire like, hired you know, by Ray J. Like, like, Miss, like Miss Jenkins and dripping honey. That's just this. you know because she's now trying to uh, take legal action against the school. Oh, mm-hmm. she gonna take legal action on me. <laughs> Go ahead, Angela. <laughs> but, and um, I will say the thing is, if she was a great teacher and right. this was outside of school hours. Yeah. You know, and these kids, like, I would say on YouTube, you have to, a lot of times, if there's content that kids aren't supposed to see, mm-hmm. then Look, they shouldn't all, be. I don't think they should have told her that she had to remove her content from her. Those are her pages. Now, they have, that's different. I don't like, no, I, that's not right. But and, if, the, if the topic were in like a, uh, uh, you know, a super uh, like aggressive verbal. Would you let your like, daughter and son have her as a teacher? Would you be okay? With I mean, that? I, my kid, I'm lit. My kids is lit. Yeah. Okay. So I ain't like. Yeah, they have a lit fine, teacher. You're fine with it. Yeah. I'm cool with everything because my kids know how to how to handle themselves. Ooh, what if she was fighting on the Tronics Network? Mm. Other that. teachers. The, yes, the well, teacher. Not Ooh. fighting. Fighting. Fighting for her rights. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, that is um, Under the Radar. And you know, we got the way up into the top of the hour. Plus, Jermaine Dupree is going to be joining us today talking about that Freak Nick documentary that is on Hulu. It's way up. Just like to talk like they Angela Yee, like they Angela Yee. Man, she's spilling it all. This is Yee T. Way up. It's way up. I'm Angela Yee. Jasmine Brand is here. Yes, I'm here. Not just any brand. I'm my own brand. Ray J's in the building. You better know it. Ray trying to die. Okay. Now, I don't know if you've been paying attention to what's going on in the Yee T, mm. but apparently uh, Drake is allegedly, according to rumors, going at it with several people. Right. Now, things got a little crazy on the future Metro Boomin album okay. with Kendrick's verse like that. Here's what Kendrick said. Wow. <laughs> Sneak this at first place a shooter. I hope they came with three switches. I crash out like a threat. This Melly Mel if I had to. Got two T's with me. I'm snatching chains and burning tattoos. This up lost too many soldiers not to play it safe. If he walk around with that stick, it ain't Andre DK. Think I won't drop the location. I still got PTSD. Mother of the big three. It's just big me. What? Mm. I'm really oh, like that. Oh. And hey, your best work is a light pack. Fucking Prince outlived my jack. Fucking bum. For all your dogs getting buried. That's a K with all these nines. You gonna see Pet Cemetery. Oh. All the dogs getting buried. Okay. Pet I Cemetery. I didn't. You didn't get it, uh, Angela. Interpret what he was, he, who he was talking about. He was mm-hmm. well, obviously, um, you know, when he talks about the big three, mm-hmm. that's from the J Cole and Drake with song. Drake, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, and, really? Okay, I thought that was. And he's Ice saying Cube. it's no big three; it's <laughs> just me. Three, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. You're talking about the big three. Yeah, that's you, something different. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then but, when he he referenced all the dogs, he's talking about Drake mm-hmm. there, and yep. he Reference says Pet all, Cemetery. Re- referencing all what's the, the Pet Cemetery? Is that the dog? Yeah. Okay. They gonna die. 
<laughs> um, now, the- Metro Boomin has responded spe- to speculation that Drake and Future are beefing because people were trying to say they're beefing over a woman. They actually even really? posted this woman. Yep. It usually She's is pretty. About, it usually is about that. She's pretty, too. I mean, what else is it going to be about? But Metro Boomin said, y'all and we're stop making stuff up for engagement and enjoy the music. So that was him. But if what, you'd like to see what the... What else would they beef about? Though? If you would like to see a picture a of the young lady, you can see her on the Jasmine brand. Yes. Oh, wow. Yep. Oh, yo, I'm going to it now. You're going to look now. Oh, my God. There she is. <laughs> you don't even have your phone in your hand. I know I'm Jay. promoting. Okay. Um, <laughs> but I do want to say, you know, Metro Boomin and Drake have been having their issues. Right. And if Metro Boomin don't trust you. I'm going to shoot you. <laughs> Wait. That's with, what he. That's what. That's what you well, said. Meant, he meant with this camera. Right? Yeah. With yeah. Camera. Ex- okay, exactly. Yeah. So camera. exactly. Um, <laughs> I like Drake. Drake's my friend. Now okay. Drake did go. Um, Drake actually said something at one of his shows, and it felt like he was very passionate about this. Mm-hmm. And here is what Drake said. Okay. A lot of people ask me how I'm feeling. I got my head up high, my back straight. I'm ten toes down in Florida. Anywhere else I go, and I know that no matter what, it's not a Mm. Wow. It's not an N-word on this in this on this earth. He's got his back straight. Ten toes down. <laughs> I think it was just a confident, like Yeah, that's how dance. he's feeling with all yeah. this going on. But what did that have to do? He, t- he was talking to everybody. And people are pointing out that Rick Ross and Nav have unfollowed Drake on Instagram. Drake. I also don't know, you know, how do how do people see that? Like well, who's this is our job to see it, Angela. Okay. Come on. I don't Man, even know how. Shout out to all the dudes, but shout out to Drake too. I got Grammy nominated with Drake when he sampled One Wish mm-hmm. on Views. Okay. I, I just instantly became a Grammy nominated writer. I know, that's right. <laughs> just because Drake did that. Ish, right, so you ride, so you, from, since well, because of that, you're riding with well, Drake on everything now? No, nah, I mean, we, you know, we are Grammy you know what? We have Grammy to start nom- putting respect nom- on Ray J's name. And now, from now on, he's a Grammy nominated artist. Writer, I think. Well, it, well, yeah, he sampled One Wish, and then we wrote One Wish. So, I guess we're, well, I'm a Grammy nominated writer, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're not mad at it. I don't know. It's I've important. Been, I, they ain't gave me my plaque. All right. Now, Ray Drake, J- I, I, want my, I need my plaque, plaque, too, Drake. Yep. And Kanye. Now, oh, let's okay. also talk about Tyler friend zoning mm-hmm. Kai Sinat. Uh, they were actually on Twitch streaming. Mm-hmm. Of course, you know, she got a promo. She got a new album out that people are loving and comparing her to Rihanna. And here is what happened. Tyler, would you like to go on a date with me? Are you asking me for real? Yeah. Don't do that. What you mean? Why not? Don't would you like- do that. I'm serious. Yeah. But we friends, though. You're right. Yeah, we friends. You're right. <laughs> Ooh. Ouch! Well, he 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 had to know that if he asked for that on his live stream, that there's a chance that she may say, "I'm no, I'm good, We're love friends. and joy." Yeah. He put her on the spot. She mm. might have a man. She might. She's a cute, pretty, pretty woman. Yes. Pretty. Have woman. you been ever friend zoned, Ray J? Have I went there? Friend zoned? Yes. Like had a girl like I was a friend. No, f- no, no, a girl that you mind. liked, but she, but oh, she, she was gosh. like, no, we're just friends. Uh, I, I, asked her I, I don't, don't even like, know how to do that. Okay. I don't know how to do none of that. Oh, because you. You've like been I've been for so listen, long. Nah, I've been with Princess and before Princess, I never gave up. Okay. I right. never went right, on a date. Right. <laughs> I never, I never, never went on, on a date. date because I, I didn't, I didn't. My mentality was somewhere else, right? right? It was more in a more of aggressive like field of things, but then Princess changed my life. I know Aww, that's right. I love it. But now I'm back. Okay. All okay. right. All right. All right. One wish. <laughs> All right. Well, that was your UT. When we come back, let's talk to Ray J. I'll never love again. Okay. Don't say that. No, meaning I'll never love again. Let's I talk about that. Let's talk about hold it on, when we on. come back. You can only it's love one woman in your life. It's all about Ray J when we come back, okay? And I'm, we're going to discuss with him his way up. <laughs> More now. Are we here? Are we live? Are we live? It's way up. I'm here. Yeah. Ray uh, J's here. Let me turn my volume. Jasmine Brandon's here. Ray J, this break is all about you. I know you're not a wow, narcissist. I love these Dr. Dre beats. Yes. Headphones. <laughs> mm-hmm. Wow. Beats Dre. I haven't been able to say that in a long time. Okay. Oh, well. Oh, because, oh, okay, yeah. What headphones. These are great. <laughs> all right, move I it. love the JBLs as well. Okay. I uh, love the boys. Because it's Raycon. I'm mm-hmm. free. You're free. You're no longer. You sold I'm your company. Free. Mm-hmm. Okay. Did you? What made you decide Talking to? What made you decide to do that, Ray J? When you sold Raycon, got your. It was just the right time. Can you it, talk it to it, the mic? It was the right time. Um, Tronics was happening now, and to to just make that transition, uh, with with those kind of funds, just gives me the power to like navigate through the stars like how I want to. 
and then also make sure my kids and family is 100% straight for life. So now you have more money. Are you worth more now more that you left? Liquid. Liquid, yeah. I'm I'm smarter. Okay. Okay. All right. Where, um, am I worth more like what? I'm, how do they feel about you <laughs> exiting the company and selling your shares? No, they like we worked it out together. Like right. we're, we're all one big understanding of people. <laughs> <laughs> and right. and control and like taking a company to where you need it to go. Right. You need control. Okay. If you lose control, control, then it might go another way. So yeah. what we what we all said was let's all win together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and like Angela was saying earlier, sometimes you got to know when it's time to, to part ways and right. move on to the next chapter. You yeah. got to know when to hold them. And you know, when to- people have issues with people oh. also building a company and selling it, but that is really the way that you're able to invest in other things, other people, and continue to grow. Yeah, I'm two for two. Two what's, for two. What's the other They're one? Scooty bikes. Oh, I remember Scooty bikes. Bink. Yeah, those Scooty bikes were lit. <laughs> I remember that. All right, now let's talk about Tronics because today is a big day. So yeah. we... now I'm about to be three for three, hopefully. But hard work, five years of consistency, and making sure the subscribers Our are subscribing. getting everything that they need. So people can subscribe now. So how are we looking as far as subscribers? It's out of control. It's out of control. Four ninety nine a month. Mm-hmm. Four ninety nine, and the, the quality of this. This content is at the highest level. It does there's look no, like movies. There's no other company. There's no other competitor that can edit and shoot it like we can and make mm. it look good. Mm-hmm. Also, we got the music coming out with Tronics. I got the first single okay. ever from Tronics Music Group. Is that so with Suki Hana? That's with Suki. Oh, Suki called, with the good. It's called Pipe You Down. <laughs> of course it is. Uh, and, no, that's right. And it's such a good song. I think he can say that. And then this, and then the second song of our trilogy, because it's a Hangover sixty nine. It's us in Vegas, and it, we just go right. The second <laughs> one is T shirt and panties. Okay. And then the third one um, to really solidify. All right, it hold is on. Tell me what's the name. To, okay. Vibrator. Okay, vibrator. Ray. Vi- vibe Raider. Okay. okay. Like not not vibrator, but vibrator. Angela, we have it's to time su- for the vibrator. We have to subscribe exactly. because okay. we Angela and I usually share accounts. I'll but give you e- my password. Okay. Great. Like you got you gonna love it. <laughs> okay. The first installment from Suki comes. <sighs> and Suki Hana has her own show on there. Oh, as yeah. What's that you called? announced it's before called, she was able yeah, to announce right? it. Right. It's called Little Coochies Matter of Las Vegas. Oh. I think we can say it. it's fine. No, we we it gotta is. let this out. We can Little, say this. Um yeah, okay. and you know, we also directed her video I'm selling. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. You heard that I'm selling? I I can sing that, but we can't top sing it three. here. Okay. Top three. I'm selling. To top three. Suki, I'm so proud of you. And I'm I believe so in you. I'm so proud of you. And I'm on my way to Miami. And um, we're going to all... Really Celebrate. Just, we're going to turn this thing up. I haven't had a vacation yet. I know. I don't think I don't Miami's going to be a vacation for you either. But, but you know, and to be clear, uh, we are going to play some of Ray J's new music when we Ooh. come back. But yeah. all, And we did get a chance to see the video. Yeah, I'm just, like, I'm premiere. doing the music for fun. Like, it's an experience. Oh, and Princess Love has a show on the network too. It's the yeah, cook off. The cook off. Oh, because she can cook. That's right. Yeah, she's producing a lot of shows. Whatever she wants to do is, is she has an open like window. You know what I mean? But the cook off comes in. She got to uh, do something with her poker. Yes. Can she teach yeah. me how to play poker? Oh, absolutely. She's, she's good. Gotta put up she, some money she, though. She's a Woo, professional. I'm, I'm yeah, she don't play around with that. All right. Well, what song are we gonna play when we come back? Is we're you gonna and come Suki back Hana? and we're gonna play me and Suki. It's called Pipe You Down, and okay. then we're gonna end it off after that with. <laughs> All right, guys, all of okay, okay. All right, new Ray, new Ray J. When we come back, it's way up. Turn it up. You vibing way up with Angela Yee. Come right back. More now. What's up? It's way up. Jasmine Brand is here. Yes. Ray J's in the Ray building. Ray J, way up. And we're gonna have some <laughs> new Ray J. New music, right? Like I'm doing it for the fun of it, the okay. love of it. And it definitely looks like you're having a good time. I'm having a ball. These songs is just super lit. Like, whether you like them or not, like, the way I like them, you gotta love them. Okay, like, the way you like it, you gotta love the it. The way I set the backdrop when you come to the show is just unbelievable. It's not right. And where'd you film the video? Vegas? Uh, the video, yeah, we did a whole trilogy. It's called Hangover 69 with Ray J and Suki. Um, <laughs> 69? That's Hangover interesting. Hangover 69, yeah. Right. Well, you know they have Hangover 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah. Hangover, we, overhang. We, crank, we, mm-hmm. crank, we cranked it to 69. Because at All the right. end of the day, the day's gotta end. Yeah, absolutely. All right, well, we got new Ray J. When we come back, it's way up. I've been way up with Angela Yee. Come right back. More now. <laughs> All right, it's way up. Ray J's here. Yeah, yeah. Jasmine man, we're having such a good time. Any brand, here. I'm my own brand. 
period. Nobody. You feel what I'm saying? We up in here lit now. We feeling good. You could tell the tone is a little bit more we had like some pizza. Yeah, we had a pizza we had, party. We had pizza and, and 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 fun. All right. Well, you know, since Ray J's here, it's always a special day when Ray yeah, J's in the thank building. You, thank you. I appreciate you guys. I want to be here every day. I want to be mm. at the the co 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 host. We want you to actually <laughs> go on a vacation though, because Charnix Network launch. You've been going really hard, uh-huh. back to back to back I know. shows. I know. Are you guys gonna come out on the vacation? Like at least pull up for two days. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be I'm there. gonna do a five yeah. six day or so. Y'all, all right. I'm we'll be there. For t- I think at. all I can do I'll is fly two all in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We can. Back we when we need it. Yeah. I'm but let's get into some Ray J music. Let's get into it. Besides the network, you have some new music out. This song right here is featuring Suki Hana. It's called You Down. Yeah. This is our first single off the Tronics Network. I love it. I survived now. We getting high now. Feels like I could fly now. And I will never let you down, 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 down. It's a pound town. And your boyfriend, he's a mother. Clown, 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 clown. You in your nightgown. Walks a half an ounce. Now I'm about to take you down. Now we wanted to play Suki Hana's part, but it is filthy, and we cannot do that. <laughs> it's filthy. Yeah, um, so this, you guys yeah, this will have whole, to go yeah, this whole listen. project is uh, filled with like a lot of different verbiages that <laughs> Ray Radio probably couldn't like adapt to in the beginning. But there's we already also, got a call. Yeah, right. And, and and I love everybody on the other side, and I would never disrespect the other side. The other side. Right? What's the other side mean? The well, other side means don't don't curse. Okay. This don't song do all right that, you know, here. Corporate. We have another song right that there. we actually can play. Okay. Uh-huh. This was this is all Ray. Okay. C C C C C C. That's all I know in Spanish. I did this thing. I did this out of out of town. All right. C C C C C C C. That's all I know in Spanish. All I know in Spanish. Yeah, that's all I know in Spanish. C C C C C C C C. That's. Hold on, wait a minute. I got it. Wait a minute. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I'm back up in this bitch, and I want all the steady. Steady. Sixty million dollars in my bank. Now I'm stuck in panic. I want all the me up just get bitches. That's my canvas. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Wow. Magic stick. Okay, okay. magic stick. Angela's, pro- Angela's producer loves this song. I Dan, know he does. He really enjoyed Let's that go. one. Dan is turning red. Let's go. He loves it though. See, see, see. Thea listening. I just I, Thea. I need a meet. I need to play music. <laughs> I do want to say I saw Ray J post it live and then delete it. Uh oh. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> I saw you post it live and you deleted it. Mm. I posted live. Mm-hmm. The song? The, over the weekend. You posted oh. something live and Uh-oh. then it was deleted soon after. Yeah, like, because, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay. I, I'm trying to do, I'm, I'm getting, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they screening me. Next. Um, <laughs> they screening next me. Next caller. Now, here is a Two Tone Maybach. Two Tone Maybach, we up. It's a really good song. Two Tone Maybach. In the Two Tone Maybach. On big wheels. I just made a fortune of this new passage at Will of Fortune. My body on me, ain't got a eight pack. Yeah. Ooh. My women would do your body good. You know you want to taste that. Yeah. Big Frank's in my bank, baby. You should come and chase that. Chase that. Okay. Angela, Ray J got a lot of things, but he does no. not have an eight pack. <laughs> no, I said my body on. My body's real lean. It's okay. On, my body's on lean. Okay. And I ain't got an eight pack. Oh, okay. I'm about to say, I know you. type of lean. Okay. 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 Yeah, right. it's, like a, it's, like a, it's like a double right. entendre. Okay. <laughs> My body it's very clever. Listen to it again. All right. Like, All right. Well, that's I know it. you don't have one. New Ray J. And when we come back, thank you, Ray J. That was great. And, I, and you being here to actually debut these songs for Yeah, us. I never th- thought it was going to happen because I just be doing the songs for fun, right? So so when we go out and we promote these TV shows, we got these after parties we do, and we just promote our songs and have a good time. As so you should. It's the experience, you know what I'm saying? As you should. Experience. And, we, and speaking of music, when we come back, Jermaine Dupree is going to be joining us. He's talking about the... Hulu series Freak Nick that he has a documentary. Where you going, Ray J? I don't know. I'm just, All right, well that Jermaine so Dupree's up next. It's way up. Turn it up. You vibing way up with Angela Yee. Come right back. More now. What's up? It's way up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and my girl Candice from Real Housewives of Potomac is here. And we had Jermaine Dupree in the building. What's up? What's up? The legend. Uh, the le- the something. Jermaine Dupree. All right. Well, let's talk about you. Let's talk about Freak Nick. Yes. The documentary, yes. the wildest party never told. It's not what we thought it would be. What did was, you think it? Would I be? was shocked because when when it first came out that you were doing this documentary, I think the world kind of like was shaking in their boots a little bit. People like, were oh crap. <laughs> it's going to be this thing talking about my mama twerking on top of cars. Mm-hmm. 
And it was the complete opposite. It felt like a history lesson, like yeah. a like a black history lesson. Yeah, yeah. no, that's what it is. It's a, yeah. it's a it's a it's a story that just needed to be told. Yeah. Right? And and the South, you know, in the culture of hip hop and culture period, we had been neglected. Mm. You know, what I mean, our stories haven't been told the way other people's stories have been told in hip hop. Mm. And this actually is the first story, Atlanta Southern hip hop, to be told on this type of stage. So shout out to Hulu. Shout out Mass Appeal and um, everybody that, that helped bring this to life. I think it's going to be a big learning lesson for a lot of for people. For sure. It was I definitely for learned a lot. Yeah. It just makes me think of like during that era. I mean, we had the tunnel in New York. And Freaknik is something that Atlanta had that was like this legendary. It'll never, yeah, you'll thing. never have it. I mean, and, and and so many things that was happening during Freaknik. Like we had 112, mm -hmm. we had Outcast. You know, Outcast came out of Freak. I mean, they didn't come out of Freaknik, but they, they the artists used Freaknik mm -hmm. as like the mixtape yes. here in New York, basically. Mm -hmm. So it was more or less like when Freaknik is coming. Get your product Together. prepared. Right now, Jermaine Dupree is here. We're talking about the documentary Freak Nick that's on Hulu right now. Just think about how we used to not mind being stuck in traffic while all this is going on because there's yes. music playing. Yes. People are outside the getting car. Getting out the car. You're getting free. Yes. You know, music right. and t shirts and yeah. things like I think, that. Like you're said, meeting it's, people. it's just that manual lifestyle. Right. We're just in a digital <laughs> lifestyle. Different. Like, yeah. if you were looking at your phone or something, you would miss everything right. that's going on. So back then, it was just like a wanted thing. Mm -hmm. like, and also, mm -hmm. this is like um, in college. A lot of us are broke in college. Yes. So going to right. the strip club is different. Yes. If you don't have money to throw, yep. if you're not buying drinks, right. like you could be outside. I remember Hop in the car all with the trips that girls. I took when I was in college and had no money. Yep. You yep. know, and how like do you, you take said, a trip? Just get in the car. One of you, my friends would drive. Like, yep. We would you go pull to, your yeah, money. We all go get in the car, drive. We are in one hotel room. Yep. And we're women. So we go right. out and we don't have to pay for anything. Right. You know, and that's just how it used to be. We'd yep. be like, let's go to South Beach for mm -hmm. Memorial Day weekend. We knew we didn't have to pay. We would literally be sitting outside eating and a guy would come and be like, I'll pay for your meal. <laughs> that's what it used to be like. Yep. But y'all like, thought about that prior. Yeah, we know as women that we don't have to have money like that's you guys crazy. did to go out. That is so I mean, crazy. Fellas, do y'all hear this? Pretty privileged. You know, y'all hear this? part of it, y'all make more than us. So you that is not that. What? Until <laughs> yeah. we have equal pay. Right. What? Come on. Yes, <laughs> Taraji. Thank you, Taraji. <laughs> Yes. Uh, but think about it as a man, like when you went out, you did have to pay for stuff more mm -hmm. than a woman would have I to didn't. Pay. I was broke. My experience at Freak Nick was the broke experience the of The broke Freak experience, Nick. sitting yeah. in traffic. Because yeah. 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 the party a lot of times is in the parking lot. Yeah. yeah and it's on the street. It's not yes. actually inside of a place. Yep. Yeah. The let out. They used to call me a let out <laughs> because I love the let out. The best the time. The let, like the club when you get let out. out. The club, you get, when the club lets After out. After the club lets out, that's the best time. Not the being in the club. Out. Yes, you never heard of the let out. I've never heard this. Really? Like you go to the club, get your bottle, do all that, and then you leave the club and you stand outside mm -hmm. and you see who all was in there and you're oh, talking. Exactly. Okay, we yeah. call that parking lot pimping. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, a.k.a. parking lot pimping. Yeah, that's what we got. Yeah, that's what we got. It. It. Yeah. Okay. All right, Candace is here from Real Housewives of Potomac. We are talking to Jermaine Dupree. We have more with him when we come back. Freak Nick is available on Hulu right now. It's way up. You vibing way up with Angela Yee. Come right back. More now. What's up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. And Candace Dilla Bassett from Real Housewives of Potomac is here. Not to be confused with any other Candace. And Jermaine Dupree is here. Now, you also have the Magic City documentary at yes. the same time. Shout out to my girl, Gigi. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Lip yeah. Service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She is yeah. heavily she, uh, involved. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. And in that, she was Miss Magic City, by the way. Yeah. So how did Drake end up getting involved with Magic City? Um, Because the crazy part about Drake wanting to go to magic city and being into the whole culture of magic city he's from a different country mm -hmm. that in itself says a lot about right. that club the legacy if you're in mm -hmm. a whole different country and mm -hmm. you want to come to atlanta to go to magic city mm -hmm. and you want to get there on monday so that you yes. can experience exactly what's happening and mm -hmm. then once you go you go back home and you start talking mm -hmm. about it and you put it in your songs and you still from another country <laughs> yep. It shows the power that that club has. Mm -hmm. well. Listen, the first time I went to Magic City, I walked in and Gigi jumped off of somebody like Angela naked. I was like, hey, <laughs> <geez."> <laughs> <laughs> did you just act like you was like, no, I was 
was with my friends and I was like, I've never been here before. Let's go. As soon as we walked in, that happened. They were like, yeah, you never been here. Oh my I was gosh. like, no, that's Gigi. She's on lip service with yeah. me. She does the podcast with me. So we're good to so, go. Right now, Jermaine Dupree is here. JD, you are like really doing a lot to document a lot of things happening in Atlanta. What other untold stories are there mm. that you want to um, tell? Not just Atlanta. I think it's South period. I yes. think, like I said, I feel like the South has not been interesting to Hollywood for some mm. reason and pray to God that this documentary does what it's supposed to do so that we can get more stories. This is a lot more stories to be told about yes. the South. You know, just even my story and, you know, mm. my story in itself, people don't know the Jermaine Dupri story. They know mm. what they heard. They got little pieces and this, that, and the third. But if it was like, my life would be different if you knew my story. Who would play Jermaine Dupri in the Jermaine <laughs> Dupri story? We talked about doing this a long time ago, but Lorenz. That's my homie. Yes. But, yeah. Okay, Lorenz, get him on the line. Because <laughs> you're you're gonna do your story right. Like you have to. Yeah, I hope so. Why do you say it yes. would be different? Like if people. So if you take it for example, like sports. If in sports, if a kid comes into sports at 19, 20 years old, and he wins the Super Bowl that first year mm -hmm. that he came out, ESPN would have made a whole. It would have been like. Yeah. This freak of nature, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. I did that. I mm -hmm. put out my first group, Crisscross, at 19. Mm -hmm. Their first record became a number one Hot 100 record. We won the Super Bowl immediately. Mm -hmm. But hip hop, Sean didn't make it seem like it was like something that wasn't a hip hop thing and it was more like a gimmick. And we was from the South, so it was like you missed a lot of that. When you talk about female rappers, Brad is the first female rapper yep. to ever go platinum. You don't actually hear that in the female rap story right. because I think it's because of the same thing. So I feel like a lot of these things would be the heightened of it would be different mm -hmm. and my career would be different. Wow, that's mm. it. Yeah. And you know what else in the midst of all this, man, is to keep your hands clean. Yeah, right. You no see. scandals. Well, I don't know that. What's keep your hands clean? Man? Well, <laughs> you're, you're, you're not in any mess. Oh yeah, no, I don't have, yes. no, I don't have yeah. no time for all that. Yes, just oh. regular man mess, but right. not you know. Or I ain't in no yeah. regular man no mess. I mean, don't know the nothing. Past, you have, you know, you've had what? Ah! <laughs> yeah, his songs written about your drama. Oh, that's you know, not but, bad. But I'm though. saying that's not that's bad. Life. That's, that's, yeah, that's regular stuff. man that's mess. That's, that's content. Life. That's life. Yeah, content. That's content for the music. Content. But no, honestly, thank you so much. We really do appreciate you. I know you'll be back for um for Magic City, but Freak Nick, the wildest party never told. Congratulations. Yes, and your contributions. Thank you. Shout out to. Money long, number one record in the country. Go money, girl. All right, you can watch the full interview on my YouTube channel, Way Up With Ye. And when we come back, we have the last word with Ray J and Jasmine Brand. The phone. Tap in. Tap in and get your voice heard. What the word is. Here's the last word on Way Up With Angela Yee. What's up? It's Way Up With Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. Jasmine Brand is here. Ray J yeah. is here. A.K.A. Tron. All right, the Tronics Network is available now. Make sure y'all download that app for $4.99 a month. Cause yep. Why wouldn't you? Yes. Yep. That's not bad. That's a good, that's a good deal. Oh, that's 99 a is a steal. Let's just five bucks. Just chill. Just sit on it. Pause. I know what just happened. <laughs> Don't look at me. You want to say it. I can pause myself. I'm on fire today. <laughs> Ray J said no ditty. So I'm on fire today. I didn't say that. <laughs> It was trending. It was, it was trending. trending. You had to it bring it in. Mm -hmm. But no, nah, but I, I, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm lit. He said, you know what I'm saying? I'm lit. Okay. I'm super he's lit, lit. But he's got new music I've, out. I've been we drinking Hornitos, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, I appreciate y'all playing my music because I just be liking it, just doing it for fun because yeah. we got studio time. Doing mm -hmm. it like we do it to do it like we do it. Yeah. We're going to have a good time. When you going to put me and Ange on a song? Right tonight. Okay. Like, we're going right to the studio right there. <laughs> Perfect. Let's get to All it. All right. And also, thank you to Jermaine Dupree for joining us today. You can watch Freak Nick on Hulu right now. And of course, this is your show, so you guys have the last word. I have a confession to make without being judged. So recently, I've engaged in sexual encounters with more than several women, and I came home with some sort of STD or disease that leaves my private part green-ish when I use it. What should I tell my wife? Thank you. What's up, y'all? My name is Kayla. I'm from Savannah, Georgia, and I'm calling to shine a light on my mama, Tatisha Brown. I love her, and she's my everything. That's what is in my best friend. I mean, I could call her and tell her anything without feeling like embarrassed or any type of way. She raised five kids. You know, we grew up all together in one household, and I just really want to call to shine a light on her. Like, mama, I love you, girl. Going way up, turn up, turn up. with Angela Yee.